additive manufacturing is a disruptive technology and its ubiquity in the technology space has allowed anyone with a 3D printer and crowdsourced engineering to develop incredibly sophisticated engineered systems. And we see that as an emerging threat. I'm Rebecca Erickson. I work in the Advanced Engineered Systems Group in the National Security Directorate. Our technical impact on national security really incorporates three different areas of engineering and science. We focus on formulating our own custom feedstock materials for 3D printing. We focus on the signatures of 3D printed parts. And we also focus on pushing the art of the possible on these machines and seeing what you really can make these machines do in terms of capability. Some of the coolest materials that we make, in my opinion, are the ability to 3D print sensors, and these are chemical sensors. So electrically conductive, but also incorporate highly porous nanomaterials. So if you're in a hazardous environment, we can now 3D print sensors that have the capability to absorb that material and then tell you it's detected it in the environment. For the bioprinting area we're trying to expand into, we're hoping to take advantage of a human immune system response as a sensing device. We've made materials that have living cells, literally a, a small sensor chip that you could have to be able to detect a pathogen that would make a human sick. The reason we're doing this work at a national lab, it, it really takes a team of very different backgrounds to accomplish the work that we're doing. We have mechanical engineers, material scientists, chemists, physicists, even a biologist, and we all work very closely on the same team. They inspire me every day with their creativity and their ability to adapt to very hard scientific questions and engineering challenges. <laughs>